Hey, all this week, we're going to be talking about uh, I am a missionary. In fact, all month long, <laughs> we're going to be talking about I am a missionary. Because we're wanting to see ourselves move in this in this process from being people that are experiencing the love of God at, at a depth that it begins to change our love for everything else, for everyone else. Um, it's pretty powerful what the New Testament authors do when it when they address the love of God. Um, they basically make a case that if we say we love God and hate our neighbor, we're a liar. <laughs> They make the love of God and the love of man inseparable. They say one goes with the other. Um, certainly, we know from 1 John four nineteen that when we can love others, and by the way, read the uh, first epistle of John, because he makes this point quite emphatically, um, is that, when we are loving others, it is because he first loved us. <laughs> so we learn how to love from Jesus. That was kind of the uh, essence of this whole um, sermon this week. But I, I want us to review just a, a few things that we talked about. Uh, first is just, just to remind ourselves and to work together on learning the statement. Each one of the statements are more powerfully learned and lived when they're learned and lived in community. So when you and I are meditating on truth and we share that with someone else to, as a way to kind of encourage one another and challenge one another and stimulate one another to love and good deeds, it gets more deeply into who we are. So it's not just something I know or something I do, but it's an expression of who I am, my identity, my sense of being, right? So, uh, I will obey the Great Commission. Well, I'll, I'll pause as I go through this. Remember, that's because Jesus said, if you love me, you'll obey what I command. I will obey the Great Commission as an expression of my love for Christ. I will grow in my ability and commitment to spread the message of Christ's love to those who are around me and around the world. I will do what I can do and support those who can do more than I can do through my generous giving. Pretty basic. So I want to encourage you. When we talked um, a couple weeks ago about, you know, I gave you four words that and asked if you could see them clearly and you couldn't because there was a, another paper in front of them. So it obscured the bold letters, words that I had written on the, on the flip chart. Four words. Inspiration, motivation, preparation, and actualization. That to actualize something is to make it a reality for it to become real. And I said, those, there's a progression. We, we need inspiration. <laughs> and, and, and love flows all the way through all four of those words. So think about that with me real quick. You think about the, the, you know, the for God so loved the world that he gave, right? It was God's, it, the inspiration of God giving Jesus the death of Christ was the ultimate, uh, ultimate sacrifice. Um, Jesus said in John 15, 13, greater love is no one than this, that he laid down his life for his friends. Romans chapter 5, verse um, 6 through 8 says, you see, at just the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous man, though for a good man, someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this, while we were still sinners. Christ died for us. That, that says it. That's the inspiration. That's why in 2 Corinthians 5, 14, Paul could say, for Christ, love compels us. And in that text, he talks about us being representatives or ambassadors. We, we've got a job to do. It is our job to love a broken world, to, to live out the gospel. Um, but we do that out of this inspiration and motivation of God's love. Meditate on that today. Meditate on that little little statement. Meditate on some of those passages that I just recited. Why? Because you and I uh, need to recognize that inspiration and motivation leak. 
<laughs> they leak. They We can be greatly inspired and greatly motivated. And then the next day, not so much. <laughs> the way we keep those things active as active ingredients in our faith journey is by reviewing truth, meditating on truth, being changed by truth, set free from the old captivity of selfishness. Um, so today, be liberated by love because love does something to a lost world. Love you. I'll see you tomorrow.